Water can mean having a good time. But for some, it can also mean having a bad time. What can you do to avoid water accidents? You should learn how to be safe in the water. What do a beach, a river, and a stream have in common? They are moving bodies of water. Here are some of the hazards you may find in them. Jose did not know how to swim. The water was shallow in the stream, and he saw no danger in wading in it. have very uneven bottoms, and their shallow water may unexpectedly give way to a deep hole. Jose has learned never to wade in a stream alone, and he's also learning how to swim. Mark was a good diver. He also liked to fool his friends. Help! Help! Mark thought it fun to watch his friends searching for him. They seemed to be alarmed that Mark disappeared in the water. A few days later, Mark and his friends went fishing to their favorite spot by the river. Sure can stay underwater a long time. Way too long. Their new friend began to worry that Mark has not yet surfaced from his dive. He must be fooling around again. your energy. Mark's probably eating blackberries in the bushes. Could this happen to you? Mark was caught in the branches of an underwater tree trunk, which was carried there by the river currents since they were there the last time. This accident was a lesson for all of them. Even if it is a familiar area and the shore looks the same, always investigate the water before you dive so you'll be safe. And do you think Mark has ever again faked distress
To go to the beach is a favorite recreation with many of us. But for some, the fun may turn into a close call. happened to you? Bill was a weak swimmer, and he panicked when a current near the pier carried him into deep water. When on a beach, first look for safety signs. This flag, for example, means no surfing. This one warns of dangerous rip currents. Make a habit of staying near a manned lifeguard station, which can help you in an emergency. What does a lake a pool, and a farm pond have in common. They are still bodies of water. Here are some of the hazards you may find in them. It was a warm summer day, and Susie thought she'd cool off in the pond at their farm. She didn't know how to swim, but there are things that can make you float in water. Also trusted your life with a float that can easily be punctured or can burst. Susie learned that the safest float in water is knowing how to swim. A pool should be a place for fun and a good place to learn how to swim and dive. It also has its own safety rules. Could this happen to you? Are you also in the habit of disregarding safety rules? If you participate in this kind of horseplay, you deserve to be ordered out of the pool, or you may end up with an injured neck and become only a spectator of the fun instead of taking part in it. David was a good swimmer, and he liked challenges, such as swimming across the lake where he was spending the summer vacation. Today, he sneaked away from his family on the beach to test his skill. Can he do it? Sure he can. <laughs> Time passed by, and David thought he should have reached the other shore by then. Distance surely looks deceptive over water. Perhaps he should turn back. But the shore he started from didn't look closer either. He might as well swim to the other shore.
David was getting tired. Then suddenly, he felt a sharp pain in his leg. He got a cramp. Have you ever overestimated your strength? Could this happen to you? Do you act before you think? After this accident, David promised to himself never to swim alone, but stay with his friends in an area supervised by lifeguards. There are many things you should not do in and around water to ensure the safety of yourself and others. Sand and your eyes don't get along well. This kind of horseplay is bound to hurt someone. So is this. You wouldn't call this safe boating, would you? No running means walk. Do you think these fellows have learned how to change places in a canoe? Bruises, swells, broken bones. You're asking for them if you dive in shallow water. Staying too long in water may end in a cold. If you don't like to be dunked, then why dunk others? A bridge is no place for showing off. By littering, you may not only do harm to yourself and others, but do harm to your environment as well. What should you do to avoid accidents? Learn to be water wise. Know how to protect your own safety and to help others in an emergency. Above all, learn to swim. The life it may save may be your own. Some start taking swimming lessons early. Water should be fun. If you observe the safety rules, you'll enjoy water recreation even more, and you'll always be safe in the water. <laughs>